Hello everybody, Pat Juju here. Um, sorry about the poor quality. I'm using directly the camera audio because right before I started recording, my laptop shut off. You guys can can really see it, but it shut off because it overheated for some reason. But anyways, so we got to do do with this audio. Sorry about that. Couldn't help it. And it would take way too long to get the laptop running with the uh, Yeti mic, so I'm sorry about that. But anyways, today we're doing another review time. Yeah, it's been a while. And of course it's a game that I said I would try to do, and it is Senran Kagura Snow Shinobi vs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh we're looking at the PS Vita version. Uh, there's also a PC version, but I'm not looking at that one, look at the Vita version only. So, uh, where usually in review time, like, it's usually off the wall, just, you know, talk about the game. But, uh, this might actually be my second take. I'm recording this another day. I recorded this, uh, <laughs> the first time I re the first recording yesterday, but I, like, yeah, I really felt off, so I, I want to do it again. So, uh... Saren Kagura Shinobi vs. It's a game by uh, Marvelous and uh, Exceed is involved with it with a bunch of other companies that like at the beginning at the start screen just like how many people are part of this development just like but they, there are uh, a couple uh, trying to look at my notes here uh, Tam Tamsoft was in it and there's Marvelous AQL and also, uh, Exceed was a part of this as well. So, uh, we're going to start off with the story first. And, um, actually before that, uh, this is a couple notes that I wrote a year ago when I really want to review the game. So, what I really wrote was word for word, Dynasty Warriors set during modern times with ninja school girls with big boots. <laughs> Uh, that, that, that was, that, that, that's something. But, uh, for real though, uh, the story of the game. Uh, so when I was looking up this game for the review, uh, I found out that there's actually two timelines for, for this series. Uh, one is Senator Kagura Burst, or like the first game. And then goes into Deep Crimson or Senran Kagura 2 Deep Crimson. And then there's Senran Kagura Burst, and then goes into Shinobi Versus. So it was like, alright, kind of easy, easier to understand. So like there's like two different timelines, but like they don't really correlate with each other, I guess. Um, so you're basically playing as five, no. 20 schoolgirls and they're ninjas <laughs> and they're basically battling each other to be like basically it's, it's good versus evil kind of basically if you're looking at like the main school like Hanzo they're, they're basically three main schools and then a side side thing uh, Hanzo, Gessen, Happy Joe and the Crimson Girls now uh, from Burst if I'm remembering correctly uh, the, it was the Hanzo versus the Heavy Joe, and the Heavy Joe girls, they were defeated during Burst, and then they became their own thing, they became the Crimson Girls. And then now in this one, you got a brand new set of Heavy Joe, Heavy Joe girls, and the new school, uh, Gessen. And they're, they're all up here. I was, I was said like in my first recording that oh it's just a secret but I literally just rewatched uh, the opening of the game is just like no no it's not a spoiler they're right there in the, in the opening so yeah uh, they're, they're all there and you basically uh, it's basically girl each each school are battling against each other to basically be to, to show what which school is the best basically and Kinda take over the world, kinda like the the heavy Joe's like we're gonna use the power of darkness. <laughs> well, there there is one girl in 
in the new Happy Joe girls that's like, yes, darkness, darkness is what I use. And you're like, oh, all right, good, good for you. <laughs> uh, and, and with the story, uh, there's five chapters for each school, so basically 20 chapters in total. But in each chapter, there's five sub chapters. So five times five is 25, times four is over 100. <laughs> So we basically have basically over a hundred hundred parts to go through, but they're, they're fairly short. And uh, there is another part of the game. Uh, the first part was the uh, main story, and if I look over to my Vita, it is the Shinobi Girl's Heart, the Shinobi Girl's Code. And okay, so back to what I was saying. The main story is called the Shinobi Girls Code, and of course, I uh, we play with each character, basically with each part. You play as a different character, and you can go on until you beat that chapter, go to the next chapter, and so on and so forth, until once you beat the main three girl schools, the Hanzo, uh, Gessen, and Happy Joe, you unlock the Crimson Girls. That's what you get after being all three. And uh, there's a side part called the uh, Shinobi Girl's Heart. And it's basically uh, it's just some random random plot that, that each girl go through. It's pretty funny and I and I personally enjoy it enjoy it. And there's some uh, cool uh, art at the end. <laughs> really enjoyable. Uh, but like the story I kind of wish that uh, they, there was like like, some, like a really a main focus like is besides you know the girls going after each other. Kind of wish there was like uh, like oh maybe we have to like work together to like be beat this uh, one giant thing, and uh, that that doesn't happen. But uh, it it there is a good part like at, at the end of the game. Where basically, uh, 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 two, the two girls from from the first game, main girls, uh, from Hanzo and Abigail, who is now the leader of the Crimson Girls, they fight the end, and I, I personally enjoy that because it gives you two perspectives of of what happens in the fight. So it's like, yeah, that is really interesting. I really like that. So, uh, for the gameplay, uh. Well, two things I got knocked off for. Uh, there's the low times, which I kind of don't like. It might have been uh, reduced in the PC version. I'm not sure. Please tell me in the comment section below because I personally have not played it. Because, of course, my laptop can't run it. Uh, and there's frame drops because... It's basically like a Musou game slash Dynasty Warriors game. You have to defeat all the enemies on screen to advance. It's not like a big map, but just like it's really li linear. And they blocked off paths where he you can't go here. You got up all the paths. So yeah, just from point A to point B with obstacles in the way. And after you reach B, you fight the main boss or the boss for that area. You defeat her. It. The bosses are basically like one of the girls in in the uh, in the game, which be her. That's done with the sub chapter. Or the ch yeah, the sub chapter. Then continue on. Uh, in the story, it's basically like visual novel. Uh, the story gameplay. Uh, it's visual novel. From the visual novel, you get to the gameplay. Then, you know, continues on. I I would kind of compare it like to uh. Hmm. Like, like, yeah, uh, like the Naruto games where you got the vision novel section, then the gameplay, vision novel, then the gameplay, like that. Uh, and there's no choices to make there, honestly, but just... Uh, there's a bunch of, uh, customizable stuff for the girls, like outfits, accessories, all of that. Those gets, gets, uh, put into the actual, uh, vision novel cutscenes, and it goes into the game as well. And so when you beat the girls, as when you do enough damage, the clothes rip off, and with more clothes off, they take more damage. And once you've done dealt enough damage, they were either 
staying like the outfit that he currently left them in, or they just burst out naked with just glowing lights <laughs> covering their pride parts. Just like, all right, <laughs> all right, then that that that's a thing. Uh, they they also have their own special moves, but but they are only accessed through their shinobi uh, transform state. They can't do it in others, so you can activate that state anytime you want. A lot, you gotta have at least one or two uh, scroll. That's uh, ha how you're able to transform, and you need to have some scrolls to use your special moves. Some takes two, some takes three, four. I think that's about the most that they they uh, give that that they take. Uh, and there's that one, they, they have this ultra risky move where you basically got get your HP down like to basically critical for you to activate this move. It's like, yeah, it's a really powerful attack, but you need to have your, you know, health down really low. So it's just like, do you really want to risk that? Or, you know, not. That depends on you. And there are uh, level ups. You level up your character. You have the main leveling up with the health, the attack, you know, defense. And then there's three gauges, uh, one's Yin, Yang, and Flash. Uh, I believe, uh, I might be remembering incorrectly, uh, Yin is when you're just in your regular base outfit, you stay in that outfit, you go through the game, or that level, you stay in that, and you'll eventually level up that form. There's Yang. Uh, where you transform into your shinobi outfit, and then if you stay in that form, you fight, be level, that will eventually you know level up. And then there's Flash, where you basically, when you're in your base form, you strip off everything, you're down to your underwear. You may take more damage, but you're faster, you deal a lot more damage. So that's the risk for using Flash. I personally do not like using Flash because I do not want to risk the uh the extra damage but I did try a couple of times I did get my butt handed to me but the, the attack output was kind of worth it so just just be careful so uh with over you know sorry about the cut guys battery ran out uh but like I was about to say uh the game has over 20 20 characters uh with each their own like different uh, attacks set uh, weapons that they use and uh, the different things you know to to like kind of uh, you know may make make it a bit enjoyable now uh, there are two DLC characters for the game it is Rin and uh, Daido Daijoji who is basically uh, Daijoji is basically like a Jojo <laughs> She she trans uh, in her shinobi transformation she she basically transforms into Josuke, not not Josuke Johto. She transforms into Johto with like her hat like, uh, but but not Jo like, ba ba basically like a rebel look, a rebel who looks like Johto, you know, and Ren is a teacher for the uh, the heavy Joe, and and former you know teacher for the uh, prison girls. Still teacher for the uh, Heavy Joe girls, and she, she, she she's good. She's good. <laughs> I, I love her move set. I love her her um her basically like this giant wind fan of claws basically, and that I absolutely love her move set. And it, it has their own. Uh, they have their own uh side quests. They're not part of the main game, unfortunately. Or have a uh, main game uh, points, but uh, I they it really ran so difficulty at the final chapter of each of their uh, uh, side stories. Like all all of the other four is just like fine, but when you get to the fifth one, it's just like boom, like difficulty spike. Uh, but I I do kind of you know uh, I recommend you pick up those two at least. There's a bunch of uh, DLCs for uh, the costumes. I don't really care for those. And um, oh, a thing I didn't mention, but uh, this game is entirely voiced in Japanese. That was one thing that really, really didn't uh, like uh, maybe hesitate to pick up the game. 
just like, oh, it's not dub, well, even though there is a dub for the uh, anime, the anime uh, that that came out uh, by Funimation did dub. So kind of wish that they uh, picked up those girls or have a different cast at least if the dub for the anime didn't go do so well do none of the cast girls uh kind of wish they did that so just like it it made me like kind of tune out from the story just like i'm i'm not hearing it in english so just like uh it's kind of hard for me to like you know uh, focus but it, if you like you know the japanese sub it's the entirety of the series is in uh, Japanese stuff, so there's that. Uh, so, uh, overall, I thought this game was, I think this game was was a uh, kind of kind of average, uh, above average. Uh, there's multiple the enemies in the game, they they're, they're kind of reskins in like different stages, but like they're they're basically the same, but you know reskin. I uh, kind of wish there was, you know, like, original bosses that wasn't just the girls that, that we're going to play as eventually, you know. And I kind of wish they had, like, a, well, like, a not kind of focused story because sometimes it gets kind of out of the way. Like, it goes out of the way, then comes back. Out of the way, it comes back, you know. But, uh, do I recommend you guys pick this up? Sure. But, uh... I think you, you should get it on the PC because hopefully on the PC there is no uh, you know long load times or you know frame drops or if that like happens pe the people can probably fix it up but uh, if you only have a Vita sure pick it up but be careful of the you know frame drops and load times I think the load drop <laughs> the load times are there be mainly because of the DLC maybe I don't know but be, ca be careful so yeah that is it for this review time of Samurai Kagura Shinobi Versus uh will I do uh Asylum Esl Esl Versus which I have back there I'm not sure you guys can see that I got a uh, Esl Versus and a uh, Peach Beach Splash just came in today <laughs> I'm recording this on on uh, Friday the 13th so don't know when this has come out, uh, but I, I, I just got it, so I haven't even touched it yet. <laughs> uh, but I, I mainly did this because of Shinobi, not Shinobi versus, uh, Burst Renewal is coming out soon for the West, I believe in October. So I, I want to put this out, you know, uh, as soon as possible. So uh, if you guys want to check out the games for yourself, it is on PC. But it's mainly on, uh, it, it's usually out on PlayStation consoles first, like uh, Vita and uh, PS4. So if you guys want to wait till you know, the eventual PC, PC release, there you go. Uh, so I think uh, Burst Renewal is just coming out of PS4 first, so I'm picking that version up. But uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please, uh, tell me in the comment section down below, if you played this, uh, what did you guys think of it? Uh, did you like it? Did you not? Who's your favorite character in the game? Could be, you know, even from future games. Tell me in the comment section down below, and like always, like, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, share with all of your friends, check out links in the description below for my stuff, for me, links like Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, Discord, Twitch, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Power out. Yeah.